The star Betelgeuse, not to be confused with the character from the movie, is indeed a colossal celestial body. If we were to swap Betelgeuse with the Sun, it would extend past the orbit of Mars and even reach the asteroid belt. What's even more concerning is that the James Webb Space Telescope has made a troubling new discovery about the Betelgeuse supernova. Neil deGrasse Tyson has a few words on the topic. Despite its proximity of 700 light years to us Betelgeuse is the closest star to our solar system that scientists anticipate will ultimately end its life in a supernova explosion. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has been vocal about Betelgeuse noting its remarkable size and its stunning red-orange hue which makes it one of the most noticeable stars in the night sky. He says that it's the closest star to the sun that will most likely end in a supernova explosion. Like any star Betelgeuse will eventually run out of fuel in its core. As it starts changing it will expand so large that it will engulf the orbit of Mercury and Venus and come very close to Earth. Imagine looking at the horizon during sunrise and seeing half the sky illuminated by Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is known for its variability with its brightness fluctuating over time. At its peak Betelgeuse can shine incredibly bright, almost rivaling the brightest stars in the sky with a magnitude close to zero. There have been speculations circulating about Betelgeuse experiencing an explosion suggesting a potential terrifying event for observers on Earth. However, this claim might not hold true. It's crucial to understand that a star's brightness can change significantly. Comparing Betelgeuse to stars like Rigel and Aldebaran further emphasizes this point. Rigel and Aldebaran, while at times appearing similarly bright, can vary substantially in their luminosity. Presently, there is keen interest in understanding the status of this extraordinary star. Despite discussions about a possible explosion, scientists maintain that they're monitoring Betelgeuse's behavior closely to comprehend its fluctuations and to distinguish any significant changes that could indicate an impending supernova event. The speculation about Betelgeuse exploding has grabbed attention due to the star's size and significance in the night sky. However, astronomers and astrophysicists remind us that predicting such celestial events isn't straightforward. While Betelgeuse's recent dimming has garnered attention, it's essential to remember that stars including Betelgeuse undergo natural cycles of variability and brightness. Scientists continue to observe and analyze Betelgeuse using various astronomical instruments, including the James Webb Space Telescope. This high-tech telescope has enhanced our ability to study distant stars and galaxies. Its observations of Betelgeuse provide valuable data that aid in comprehending the star's behavior and potential changes, adding more pieces to the puzzle of this fascinating celestial body. The process of a star reaching the end of its life and culminating in a supernova explosion is an intricate astronomical event. While Betelgeuse has attracted attention and raised questions about a potential supernova, the scientific community approaches such possibilities with caution. It's an opportunity to learn more about the life cycle of stars, their behaviors, and the ultimate fate of these colossal celestial entities. The varying brightness of Betelgeuse stems from multiple factors, including its size, temperature, and distance from Earth. This fluctuation in luminosity is a result of the star's natural cycles and characteristics. Over a period of slightly more than five years, Betelgeuse has experienced significant fluctuations, posing intriguing challenges and generating scientific interest in understanding these variations. Apart from Betelgeuse, this prominent star is known by alternate names such as Belus BGE and Battelle, highlighting the diversity in naming conventions across different cultures. It's fascinating how a single celestial entity can possess multiple names and spellings each stemming from historical and linguistic contexts. The origins of the name Betelgeuse can be traced back to the Arabic language. Scholars often debate the most appropriate spelling and pronunciation for this name with the use of Bu considered more fitting in its contextual usage. Situated in the Orion constellation Betelgeuse shines as a red supergiant star captivating observers from its location approximately 642.5 light-years away from Earth. Its considerable distance contributes to its status as one of the most thoroughly studied and mesmerizing celestial objects visible in the night sky. The knowledge we have about Betelgeuse's distance comes from various sources including the Hipparchos Astrometric Satellite. This advanced tool has offered crucial insights into the vast distances separating celestial bodies. Yet, differing data sources sometimes present discrepancies. While the Hipparchos satellite indicates Betelgeuse to be around 430 light-years away, other measurements suggest a distance closer to 642.5 light-years. These disparities emphasize the complexity and challenges of accurately measuring celestial distances, underscoring the ongoing refinement and advancement in astronomical techniques. 
Understanding the vastness of our universe involves grappling with the mind-boggling distances between celestial objects. Betelgeuse, with its intriguing variability and immense size, offers a fascinating case study for astronomers and astrophysicists. The fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness over the mentioned period have led to further inquiries and observations. The unique nature of this red supergiant presents an excellent opportunity to comprehend the life cycles of such massive stars and the intricacies of their behavior. Astrophysicists and astronomers have leveraged various instruments and methodologies to closely monitor Betelgeuse seeking to decipher the underlying causes of its variability and any potential implications for its future evolution. While there have been speculations about a potential supernova event the recent dimming and subsequent brightening of Betelgeuse raise more questions than certainties. It's crucial to exercise caution in drawing conclusions as natural fluctuations in a star's brightness are part of its inherent nature and might not necessarily indicate an imminent dramatic event like a supernova. Supernova explosions, the cataclysmic events marking the end of a massive star's life, can yield an incredible release of energy at times outshining an entire galaxy. If a nearby star like Alpha Centauri were to undergo such an explosive event, it would undoubtedly captivate our attention, irradiating our surroundings with an intense array of radiation across various spectrums. Despite all the hype about Betelgeuse going supernova, it hasn't happened yet. Instead the star has been dimming and brightening in a pattern that suggests it's just going through a phase. It's possible that Betelgeuse may eventually explode, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime soon. Betelgeuse's location in the Orion constellation, marking the right shoulder of the hunter, has made it a prominent and easily recognizable feature in the night sky. Its distinct crimson hue further enhances its visibility and allure. To unravel the mystery of Betelgeuse's behavior scientists have extensively analyzed data from various sources including NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories. These observations suggest that Betelgeuse underwent a massive surface mass ejection in 2019, resulting in the loss of a substantial portion of its visible surface. This behavior is exceptional and unprecedented in the context of stellar observation never before has such a phenomenon been witnessed in a star of Betelgeuse's magnitude and prominence. This unprecedented surface mass ejection, SME, in 2019 resulted in a significant loss of material from Betelgeuse's outer layers leading to a noticeable dimming event that puzzled scientists. Unlike typical stellar activity this SME was far more dramatic than a standard solar ejection suggesting that Betelgeuse is undergoing significant internal changes as it approaches the later stages of its life cycle. Following this event, astronomers closely monitored the star's brightness fluctuations looking for further clues about its impending fate. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope along with ground-based observatories revealed that the ejected material cooled and formed a dense cloud of dust temporarily obscuring part of Betelgeuse's surface from our perspective on Earth. Despite this dramatic episode, researchers emphasize that such events are not necessarily indicative of an imminent supernova explosion. Instead, these fluctuations are part of the complex and dynamic processes that occur within massive stars as they evolve. How close is Betelgeuse to supernova? One of the key questions driving scientific inquiry is whether Betelgeuse is on the brink of a supernova explosion. While it is widely accepted that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its stellar life cycle, predicting the exact timing of its core collapse remains highly challenging. Currently, the best astrophysical models suggest that Betelgeuse could explode within the next 100,000 years, a relatively short time span in cosmic terms. However, it is equally possible that Betelgeuse may remain in its red supergiant phase for much longer before ultimately undergoing core collapse. Astronomers rely on spectroscopic analysis and stellar seismology to study the star's internal structure searching for signs of iron buildup in the core, which would indicate an impending collapse. So far, no conclusive evidence suggests that the supernova is imminent. What would happen if Betelgeuse went supernova? If Betelgeuse were to explode, it would be one of the most spectacular astronomical events ever witnessed by humanity. As a type supernova, the explosion would release an enormous amount of energy and radiation briefly outshining the full moon in brightness. For a period of weeks or even months Betelgeuse's supernova would be visible in broad daylight, illuminating the night sky with an intense glow. However, given its distance of approximately 642.5 light-years, the radiation and shock waves from the explosion would not pose a direct threat to Earth. Instead, scientists predict that the gamma-ray bursts and cosmic rays from the explosion would have minimal impact on our planet, as Earth's atmosphere and magnetosphere would effectively shield us from most of the harmful radiation. However, the explosion would leave behind either a neutron star or a black hole depending on the final mass of the stellar core. 
If a black hole were to form, it would become one of the closest such objects to our solar system.